and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. I'm beating Brad. Do you see that? I'm ahead of him. Ah, he's got me. Today, I'm, 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 you know... Pulling this draft, though, so I'm working say, out. I probably got a big draft. Yeah, he's got. He's like going behind a sailboat. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about easy and expert bicycle setup. In doing so, you can help stop knee, back, and sciatic pain. That's it's right, Bob. Very crucial to having the correct position. Right. We've got a lot of people asking about uh, riding their bicycles with back pain, sciatica, so we're going to give the answers. All right. Uh, and if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, you want to go over to our website, bobbrad.com, because we're always giving something away. What are we giving away now? We don't know. Go over there and take a look. They're uh, good. It's wonderful gifts. Though. Yeah, They're... sometimes like a sleep ovation mattress. It can be something like that. But anyway, you can also go to Bob and Brad on Facebook. It's pinned to the top of the page. You can also catch a shorter version of us on Twitter and Instagram. All right. There we go, Bob. Okay. Shall we carry on? Yeah. Yeah, we can stop pedaling for a bit All so right. we can... Uh talk effectively to our audience. Uh, so the big thing about back problem, knee pain associated with bicycling is the setup. Where you put the seat uh, up and down is very critical, forward and backwards is next. And then the height of your handlebars is absolutely key to take stress off of your back. So that being said, what we have here is uh, we got two different levels of biking here. Uh, we've got a cross trainer bike, works very nice. Uh, usually people that aren't serious bikers don't put a lot of miles on will have a cross trainer. It's not always true. That's me. Um, and this is a road bike, uh, definitely more challenging to set up to minimize stress on your low back. And I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna, so when you have a, fit, a bike fitted for you, you wanna have it fitted properly. Um, otherwise it's known as a misfit. Isn't there it you cute? Go. Yes. <laughs> so right and now, I tell you, I, I'm not an expert on this at all, but I see this all the time, and sure. I'm like, it drives me crazy, mm -hmm. especially the seat too low. Right. right. So. The seat too low is the biggest problem. Uh, Bob, why don't you get on your bike, and we're going to talk first of all. Uh, you want me to go on your bike to show how it is? With, if you, well, yeah, no, do, do, do I, just, I just want to mention a couple of things okay. first. Get your bike in a trainer. It's the best way to do it. Uh, get the front. Uh, don't you, don't go on yet, Bob. Oh, don't go on. Uh, get the front wheel in a cradle, and the goal is to get your bike level so that the axle to axle. I'm getting technical now here, but if you're not, uh, you know, if you just want a general fit, you want it generally level. Okay, so we've got that here. Look at the seat. If you look at Bob's seat. You can see this is a little higher. It's not level. And Bob has complained. He says yeah, he always feels like he's being pushed back and it's uncomfortable in that perineal where the prostate area is. And that can cause problems in that area. Uh, and you don't want to have that. Right, exactly. So this seat needs to be leveled, which we're not going to do right now, but that is a definite goal later on. We're I appreciate gonna do. <laughs> this, Brad. I appreciate you making the adjustments here. Um, so. so Get everything set up. Why don't you get on, Bob? Now, we have it set up so Bob can pedal. Uh, Bob has, I call them stirrups. Some people call them the cage. Uh, if you don't have clips or clipless pedals. Um, but we're just going to go on the flats for now. Okay. And th that'll be okay. fine for what we're talking about. Now, Bob, why don't you pedal just to get set, seated in. So uh, get your, yeah, get your yeah. Uh, bottom in the saddle so that it sounds uh, or it feels Comfortable, that's where you'd normally go? Right, okay. Right. It's called a saddle in the biking world. If I say seat, they're saying, what is he doing? Right, right. But anyways, let's go to the six o'clock position on this pedal. So it's going to be straight down. You want to have the- I should back a little bit yep. further, right? Right. There we go. Yeah, the, the axle, can you lift your foot up? Yep. The axle of the pedal should line up with your flanges uh, right there, the big, just, I go by the ball of the foot. Sure. Uh, right there where the toes connect and you have those joints. That's the proper position for the foot to be on the pedal. Six o'clock position, foot level to the floor. So not, can you dorsiflex Bob? Yeah, that would be way too low. And if 
go up there or plantar flex. We want to get it right level. And then we look at the knee flexion. Now, I took a class that was taught by experts. Miss behind you, Brad. Experts. I put it there so I wouldn't have to look. <laughs> uh, a physical therapist and a kinesiologist, and they rode bike a lot, studied this in depth. They were the most professional people and knowledgeable people on the subject. And they said between 9 and 14 degrees knee flexion is the proper height. Now, if we look at Bob, now I, don't, I know you don't have a goniometer, but you can get through without it. If I measure him up right now, he's at 50 degrees of knee flexion. The wow. seat's obviously too low. This <laughs> knee is going to accept uh, experience a lot of undue stress sure. over time. So why don't you just stand up, Bob? This bike is nice because you can adjust the seat easily. I'm going to go up about an inch and a half. This works good for the video. Uh, usually, you got to get a wrench out and do that. Now, uh, pedal again, Bob. You feel a big difference? Oh, yeah. And we got to see. You might be too high. It, it might. It feels like I'm almost reaching right at the end. There you go. If you yeah. feel like you're reaching down at the bottom to touch your pedal, it's almost certainly too high. Why don't you go at 6 o'clock again? Yeah, I can see already you're too high. You're reaching, and the things are going back and forth. Yeah, and you're below 9 degrees. So um, let's just... Rate drop you down a little bit, and I'm not going to spend any more time with that. But sure, that's the idea. Okay, so you look, you got the seat adjusted right this way. You've got yeah, the height, it feels, it feels like we're pretty close, and it feels because you've been riding with it too low, right? Yeah, you noticed a difference. Yep, yep. Okay, so the next thing is go to uh three o'clock position, which is 12 o'clock is, is here now. We're at three foot's level. We need to see if the seat needs to be forward or backwards. Uh, what works best is you take a vertical plumb line. So I actually, I have a plumb bob here. I'm going to hang it off the patella or the kneecap. Can you hold this, Bob? Sure. There you go. Thank you. Perfect. Let me get that out of the way. And you let it settle down. And if we look at, are, are you in the seat where you feel comfortable? Well, a lot of times I'm I, I would be like this. Yeah. This, this is where it's comfortable. Okay. So he's in the seat, and we look at this. Now, the point of the uh, plumb bob should line up with the axle of the pedal, which is about right here. So his seat needs to move forward probably about an inch. Um, so what's going to happen is when we're done with this video, I'm going to move that seat forward and level it out so we get that position properly. Excellent. Okay. So now we're done with the seat. You got the... The cockpit all ready to go. Gotcha. That's what we. That's what I like to call that. And the next is the back. How are we going to keep stress off the back? Now, a cross trainer bike with this type of handles is probably your best scenario to minimize back stress. If you got back pain or sciatica, it keeps you up tall. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to be like this. Right. Exactly. Good. I don't know. How do I look? I, 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 my Bob, body you is, look wonderful, Bob. Uh, no, That's I a, mean, my body awareness is so Oh, no. Cool. <laughs> I yeah. didn't want to tell you the truth, but <laughs> in case your wife is watching, you know. Yeah. So the height can be adjusted right here. You can loosen this up. And actually, if this went up higher, it would take less stress off his back yet. Really get as tall as you can. I think this is as high as it goes, though. It may be. Yeah. Right, very well. And you've got a nice, yeah, because his can be adjusted here as well. Oh, at that's, the neck. I didn't realize that. you got two different adjustments for height, oh. but you're about as high as you can go there, too. Sure. And maybe it could go up a little higher. Now, if you're a serious cycler, you're thinking about speed, and you want to have less back pain, they don't fit. Right. Because you're more like, a yeah. sail. You're going to catch the wind. It's going to slow you down. Yeah. But that's what you have to the sa sacrifice yep. for your back. Right. And to me, it's all about keeping my back healthy. That's the way so. I am. I know with my bike over here, I'm set up uh, on the road bike. This is much more stressful on my back. If you look right here, I've had the mechanic put an extra inch and a half higher than it normally is. Slows me down. Uh, but anyways, that's, that's, that's the way I, I'm working with it. And eventually, I'll probably go higher yet or get a cross trainer. It depends on how my back feels as I get into my 80s and 90s. <laughs> I'm being optimistic, Bob. boy, buddy. I like it. <laughs> so pedal away, Bob. Pedal away. All right. So Bob's bike is set up. And then I'm just going to, again, go over one more thing as far as back pain and general comfort on a bicycle. If you have a road bike... Okay, I've got aero bars on mine because I do triathlons. And plus, I like it. If you get your fingers go numb, 
and you're on the drops, like or on the hood like this, or you're here, and my right hand typically starts to go numb, that medial nerve. So I'll go into this position and I'll hold it there. This is a little harder on my back, but it, it takes away the numbness of my hands. Usually I ride like this on the flat. I feel much better on my back, slowing me down with the wind, but my back feels better. And at this age, I'm going for the long, long haul and I'm gonna save my back and work it up here. So, Bob, there's any more questions for you? No, but I can tell now that my seat does need to be moved forward. Yeah. Because I'm, like, to get my back even up, I'm, I'm on to my fingertips. Yep, exactly you know, right. I'm like this, yep. and, and you're right. Now that you're pointing this out, this is really yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, you're going to end up with prostate issues uh, if yeah, I'm you don't watch speaking, out. singing soprano yeah. here. So anyways, I think we covered everything, Bob. Yeah, Things are well. looking pretty good. So adjust your bike properly. Don't ride being misfit. And enjoy the weather. Uh, oh, Bob. I'm so happy that you're going to adjust my bike. I'm going I'm to be in good right. position. We got to say goodbye now. All right. Adios. You bet.